Hi, I'm Naomi Nachman, and this is Sunny Side Up. Hi, I'm Naomi Nachman, and, and this, this is Sunny Side Up. Welcome to the show. This Thank is you so Naz. Much. This is Naz Aziz from I Move with Naz. She's a party motivator. She does bar mitzvahs and parties, entertainment, and she does crazy Persian cooking. We are friends from camp. We yes. are friends from the neighborhoods. Yep. And we are going to cook together some delicious. Say it. Come on, try. I, 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 it took me a long time to get it. I'm like, I'm going to say, I'm going to ashray yishtaba. Close, no. close, a little bit. Ash. <laughs> ashray. Ash no. Ashle, Ashle. Right, Ashle, uh, Ashle, Ashle, Ashle. Actually, Ashle, Ashle. Did I say it right? See, I tutor speech also. <laughs> there you go. We were both teachers, yes. and now we both love cooking love and cooking. working in camp and having fun, motivating everyone. Yes. You dancing, me oh. with food, and we're going to make a great collab here. A good vibe. Nas, yeah. what is Ashareshte? Ashareshte is um, a traditional Persian noodle soup. Mm. It can go parv, dairy, meat. Can make it with meatballs. Um, we're gonna do a dairy option today. Perfect. With, for yes. The summer. And it's a comfort food also in the winter. It's also used um, during happy occasions. It's a, it's a little bit of a long process. So when you're at a family party, everyone gets a chance to come in and have a part of the recipe. Oh, so it's I love fun to that. make. Yeah. I love that. You're gonna okay. love it. So what are we doing first? I'm gonna teach you the steps, and we're gonna start with oil. Okay. The pot is hot. Yeah. And once the oil's heated, you, the uh, you oil. know what? Hit it a little more. Don't don't. Don't be shy yeah, with the oil. Shy, don't be shy. Ooh, We're gonna that. drop in some onions. You know, it's just about one cup of onions. I think Persian cooking, Ashkenazi yeah. cooking, no matter what, it's a base. Ah, oh, the sound of fried onions. Nothing. And then the smell is gonna be oh, so amazing. I love it. It looks fried good. Onions. So once we get those onions fried, I like to add a little turmeric, salt, pepper, and a pinch of mint. Okay, so can I have the wooden spoon? Yeah, go for it. Here you go, Naomi. There you go. Everything's a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So once you got those onions frying, Naomi, we're gonna add a little salt, pepper, and turmeric. Okay. And this is a secret to the beginning of usher. Just it go out. for it. Go for it. This dump whole it thing? in. Dump it. Dump it. You're good. Oh, okay. All right. Wow. Um, turmeric. We're gonna do a little bit of mint. How so much turmeric? We're gonna do two tablespoons of mint. This is this whole thing. Okay. Be happy. I know. I, I'm not doubting you. I'm not no, doubting you. No, you're going to be great. So once the mint goes in, it fries with the onions. Is and that this dried is, mint? This is dried okay. mint. We're just going to do two pinches. Can I smell it? Oh, you're... It really comes out yeah. once you put it in. And the I aroma can... is like, they'll be like, what are you making? What are you making? And keep that a secret. Don't oh tell them. God. I already Don't tell them about the mint, okay? So much color. <laughs> okay. All right. So traditionally, do you mind? Let's yeah, do it. go. All right. Here we go. And you do one pinch. Oh, one pinch? Yeah. A big pinch. Go for it. Okay. Okay. Now the garlic will come a little bit later. So now we got your onions and your oil and your mint. This is sauteing. We've already soaked our beans for two hours. And we're going to do a fourth cup garbanzo. We're going to do red kidney. So once we've got our onions fried and we put our beans in, then we're going to go into our herbs. Okay. So should we put the beans in now? Go for it. Okay. One so fourth garbanzo, which has been soaked and rinsed. Can you use cans? Listen, you could do can, but shh, don't tell my grandma. Okay, okay? right? Yeah. <laughs> Where tell. are you from in Iran? Well, my parents are Tehrani and my grandfather is Kashi. So that comes with a lot of um, tradition on its own. They sing their own songs, they have their own language. Well, I, I married that. Mashadi. I gotta give a shout out to my Mashadis. This looks amazing. It smells fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Tell me about the herbs in here. Okay, so in Farsi, herbs are called sabzi. And in here we have five types of herbs. We have spinach, cilantro, parsley, dill, and a little bit of mint. Okay. This has been soaked and drained, and I used it from a can that's already dried for you and done, because back in Iran, they would literally buy the herbs, bring it home, wash it, check it, cut it, clean it, dry it, and then put in the herbs. And by the way, that whole ceremony of washing the herbs was a thing. The mother would sit on the floor, she would, oh put out um, a white tablecloth and they would separate it off the stems. Amazing. And it was, a, it was Amazing. it's a lot of quality time that goes into making it, but now, hey, 2022. We have two cans. <laughs> we buy the can right. of it. We put two cans in here. Two cans in. Soaked, drained, okay. And put it in. 
In here? In here. Okay. So, here, here we go. All right. It could make a little, you know, More wish. Sizzle. You could think about good things when you're putting it in. I've, I I've, always think about good Yeah, things. I've read that while you're cooking, you should put in good thoughts and good blessings for the family that you're cooking for, your own family. And traditionally, asharesh that comes with a family occasion where everybody gets a step in the process oh. and while they do it usually maybe let's say for example somebody just brought out you know the baby just had their first tooth so they say oh the baby had their first tooth let's make a party and they'll bring they'll make ush and everyone gets a chance to do one of the steps oh that's so nice yeah, every is. milestone we can make I know. food we're for. very proud yes. of our traditional iranian I, culture i love that so we're on a medium flame we're going to let this simmer after we add our cups of water how much water do you We're gonna put fill in? it up over the herbs. We're gonna be generous with the water. Okay. This is easily six cups. Once we continue with the recipe, we're gonna add a little more water. Next, we're going to add half a bag of frozen spinach. Okay. This adds a little mm. into the ush. I like that cooking yeah. time. Mm. Mm. And um, I guess it gives it a meatier feel. The spinach is amazing in it. So go ahead, add that in. Okay, we're gonna. We are also going to add next our reshte. Do you know what reshte is? I forgot. Don't answer that. It's a noodle. It's a Persian yeah, noodle. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's the one we're gonna break. Okay. So there's different ways of breaking. Ready? Okay. This part, you have to get a little bit like into the mood, okay? Oh. So now your, you know, the ush part is boiling and you can call oh, in sure. people who you feel that you want to have a part in making this ush. So let's say it's your grandchild having their first tooth. Okay, so you would call in your daughter. Come in, make the help me make the asharishta, and you're gonna say this should be as a segula for them to grow up and be healthy and happy and prosperous. Okay. Do it into three parts. Good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. There you go. Just like this. You're just nailing it, Naomi. I I am so good. At <laughs> share share noodles. share the reshta. Like, I'm like hot Persian now. <laughs> When you have used beans that were soaked and not canned, I would let that simmer for like 45 minutes and put in the noodles towards the end. If you're in a big, I don't want to say rush, because we don't rush ush, but if you've done it the shorter, faster way, you can add the noodles and just give it 20 minutes, 25 minutes to boil. Okay. Okay? We'll leave it on a slow simmer. Don't and rush the ush. Don't I rush the it. ush. We're going to put a lid on it and let it simmer. Now that we're letting this simmer, and it's falling Jam into place, it's time to do the garnish. Okay. And I think you'll really enjoy it. Okay, yay! All right, let's switch. All now, right! Yes. With your microphone. Yes. So next, we are going to do the garnish. Okay. This is a very serious, serious part. Naomi, hit me up with all the oil you want. You know, my turn. my turn. Your turn? Yeah, you get turn. some also? Yeah. Wow, we need a serious amount of oil yeah, here. I like good. that. This is good. That is flavor. All right, okay. we have two whole onions. This is going to make fried onion. Yeah. Once we have our onions getting translucent, gonna hit it with a little salt. We're gonna go with some turmeric. We are adding, let's pinch it in. How much? I'll go four pinches in. One. one. Two. Hit me with another one. Three. And another one. Wow. All right. Four. We are going to do garlic. Gonna scrape that all out. Get we it all in onions. there. We don't wanna lose any. Good. Let me do a little fresh pepper. You're gonna put it in. Oh, it smells so good. Don't rush the ash. Don't rush the ash. Don't rush the ash. Okay. We've let it simmer. Okay, what's going on here now? <laughs> well, so now that the ash has really, I don't know, jaufta yeah, we're gonna there. we're gonna serve into a pretty platter. It's liquidy but it's also thick. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the aromas are just amazing because we've got parsley, we've got dill, we've got cilantro, we've got mint. Turmeric. We've got turmeric. There's garlic in there. We've also added a little bit of lentils to give it a little mm. more heaviness, yeah. right? And then we're gonna garnish. Okay, we've got everything in here. Now, yes. what, now what All happens? All right, here's the garnish. I'd like to introduce you to kashk. This is a Persian Whey. It's Persian whey. Product. It's dairy. It's made with whole it's, milk. It's which is basically you bring milk to the boil and yeah. you separate the milk solids from mm. the milk fats. 
Ooh, you little you scientist. Get, you get way. I hope I got that right. You could do that. Cash goes hard to find. No problem. Use yogurt. Oh, okay. Okay. You want to keep it parv? Skip the yogurt. Or you could do coconut yogurt. Wow. Cool. Har harbor. Didn't have that any, Ron. Okay. So we're going to decorate. We're going to do dollops of, obviously, our fried onion with garlic and mint. We're going to do a piece here. We're going to do a piece here. You okay. want to take those two top corners? Yeah. Go ahead. And I'm going to... I like that to we get to play with our food. So now we're going to drizzle the whey in a design. Now you should know, this is part of the quality time of making ush because you have to go around to the grandmas and ask, mm. how do you want to design it? And one will say, oh, I mm. only use raisins when I design. Another one will say, I put walnuts. And everyone has their, you know, pride on how they decorate ush. So can you know? I just do like... Yeah, Maybe keep going. Pattern. Make a little pattern. I'm gonna so this, this can around. be like the Australian Persian. Yeah, dish. we're gonna go all the way in the middle, and on top of that onion, I'd like you to put a little whey. Watch look this. Look, I made look. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. Yeah, make little. Like now, a... when you're serving the ush, you'll see people will come and say, "Oh, I love it with onion." And then, let's say over here, you had a different garnish. Let's say fried garlic. They'll be like, ooh, I want to take a little bit of the garlic. So there's a way of serving it too and the way of taking it. Because somebody will say, hmm, I don't like onion. They're just going to scoop around it. And this one will say, and this one will say, I love more cash. And they'll come and they'll pour more cash. Oh. So it's like a little bit of like a taco platter. Like you can right. choose your toppings I love and your garnish. that this is just so different from anything yeah. I've ever seen before. Yeah. And a lot of quality time. You see all the family time we had together. And the family time that you and I had together on kosher.com. This family. is what Persian cooking brings to you. Tradition, quality time, love. And don't forget, we're celebrating a happy occasion where we've actually prayed into the food when we broke those noodles. We put it in and we're celebrating a happy occasion. And this is not only a comfort food, but a celebration. I hope you enjoy our ush. I'm now gonna take a little bit for myself, a little bit of kashk. kashk. In the ashereshte. In the ashereshte. And jofta there. Jofta there. Yum yum mum mum. What was Okay, let me I'm get just taking here. a little. Beautiful. I'm so excited. Naomi, you have now trans. I don't know what the word is, but you've been transported, to, transported to Iran to back have some to a delicious. traditional Iranian home cooked Yum. comfort food with beautiful ingredients, fresh herbs. How do you say the tavern in Persian? Nushajun! Nushajun! Nushajun, Naomi! You feel it? Mm. God bless. This is really good. No, really. No, really. Nushajun. 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 <laughs> Wait, I, I wanted to show you just one more thing. When you're actually in a traditional Persian home, there's just one dance move that you have to master. Okay. To many more smachot and happy occasions. Amazing. And thank you so much for oh, coming on the show Are you today. kidding? We learned so this much This was today. so much fun. It even taught me how to um, steal secrets from the Persian grandmas who make usher So, welcome thank to you. Persian traditional cuisine. Thank Thanks you so much. Thanks for having me. What are we doing now? Now. Next. We don't talk about food. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop.